challenge update for May 11th. Yeah, can't keep you out of here. Okay. Now the reason why I wanted to do the moon challenge was to verify the different faces of the moon because one is supposed to give you more roots than the rest. And I've had the problem where I have planted radishes and turnips and they go straight to seed. Or I never get a bulb on the bottom. I get lots of leaves. And I don't like turnip greens. And I'm not really big on radish leaves on pizza. So that was the whole point behind it, was to see what would happen. Since I have been planting by the moon for several years, and it seems like Tina is the only one that's got a real good radish crop. They all look like they were the same size, and she doesn't like radishes. Well, the first planting was, I think, April 2nd. And I pull all of those out, and I can't remember how many actually developed. The second planting was on the 9th. It was March 9th. And out of the five that came up, I pulled three. Looks like the other two are kind of small. And, and it's, every one of them only had five come up. So I pulled four, that's left one that's not developing. Now then this one, which was on the full moon, which was supposed to be from the full moon to the dark of the moon, was supposed to be the best for root crops. And out of the four that came, or five, yeah, four that came up, not one of them has turned into a radish. So I decided, well, we'll try just one more group and see what happens. And out of the four that came up, I've already eaten two. And there's two more that are developing to a radish, almost a decent size. And the replanting on the sixth, which is the dark of the moon, the last good day to be planting root crops. Out of the five, I've already eaten three. And then these two are the best. So it seems like if you want root crops, beets, rutabagas, turnips, radishes, plant them on the dark of the moon or the new moon, because that one seems to have done the best. And here's where you're supposed to be planting above ground, above ground crops. And out of the five that came up, there's still five in here. I haven't pulled any of them. No, okay. Nothing spectacular. But they are at least all bulbing up this time. Where this one's still a little skinny thing. And then this is supposed to be the best day, or the best phase of the moon. Or one of them. And these four, five, they're not really doing much of anything. And they were planted on the 20th of April. And this is now the 11th of May. But so far, none of them are going to seed, which I'm really surprised. Because we've had some pretty warm weather. But the last six nights, it has rained. Or we got a tenth of an inch or a trace of rain. And it rained this morning. So I will go a couple more weeks and see if the new moon is really the best time to plant root, root crops. As it sure appears to be, because the other three came up right away and I picked them. And I don't remember what phase of the moon I planted the lettuce over here. But it's sure looking good. Thank you, Zuli. Little Beans Garden. Oh, Earwick. Get out of there. Chicken feed.
And what I have found out is this red leaf lettuce, the bugs don't like it. Cabbage loopers. They've been leaving it alone, but they'll be eating the other lettuce that's been planted around it. And like here, the radishes, things are eating the leaves. But they're leaving the red leaf lettuce alone. And it tastes pretty good. So that may be my lettuce from now on. Well, that is my moon challenge update for May 11th. How is your moon challenge going? Did everybody give up? 